An ancient tribe with aggressive women warriors, a forest with the most diverse ecosystem on the planet, a company that magically induces us to spend thousands of dollars on useless stuff, all fall under the same name, Amazon. Have you ever wondered where this name came from? And is there a connection between these three Amazons? Let me go first. All these three Amazons can cause you a lot of damage, whether physically or financially. Okay, okay, just kidding. Let's find out the answer in this video. In the ancient time of Greek, the Amazon was a race of warlike women who were famous for their battle readiness, horse riding skills, courage, and pride. They were told to live at the outer limits of the known world, sometimes specifically named as the city of the Mysera. For the modern time, you may be familiar with this all-women tribe in the movie Wonder Woman, a story about an Amazonian princess who was strong and resourceful, wearing an armor that couldn't cover all her chest, and also a very short skirt that was a little bit inappropriate for Princess Diana. Needless to say, this image is far-fetched from how Amazon women were described in Greek mythology. According to some sources, which you shouldn't believe, the Amazons burnt off their right breasts in order to better use a bow and throw a spear. A means without, and Mazon sounds like breast in Greek. Therefore, the term Amazon was popularly understood as breastless women. Of course, as I've just said, you should take this with a grain of salt since all Amazonians in Greek and Roman art are double-breasted. The most common weapons of Amazon women were the bow and spear, but there are also examples where Amazonians carry axes. They were regarded as skillful warriors and particular experts at ambushes and cavalry charges. In Greek mythology, the Amazons are hardly ever the main character of the story, but more often, well, as a necessary opponent for the heroes. They fought Hercules, Theseus, Bellerophon, Achilles, and all lost. The image of the Amazon in Wonder Woman was created mostly to promote feminism, rather than based on the truth. And speaking of the truth, one question remains, were the Amazon women fighters real, or just a product of imagination? Interestingly, archaeologists actually found some evidence that can prove the existence of a nomadic woman tribe around Central Asia. Many female skeleton remains were found with weapons, armor, horse trappings, and also have signs of injury from blades and arrowheads. These archaeological sites are located mostly from Turkey to Russia near the coast of the Black Sea, matching with what was described in mythology. Countries around the areas such as Persia, India, and China all have legends about an all-woman tribe, so it's very likely that the Amazon lived somewhere around Central Asia. Do you think it's just some kind of random coincidence? Or if you could go back in time and meet these women warriors, what would you do? I hope it wouldn't be the same result like in Futurama. Let's move on a few hundred years, all the way to the 16th century, when Europe just passed the medieval period and entered the Age of Discovery. To many people, the world was an unfinished map, and most would believe that the Earth was flat. In Spain, there was an explorer named Francisco de Orellana. Like many young men of the time, he went on a long and dangerous adventure to South America hoping to find the legendary El Dorado, the lost city of gold where all the wildest dreams of the rich couldn't hold a candle. But instead of finding El Dorado, Orellana and fellows were found and attacked by local tribes with bows and arrows. These tribal men were described to be very white and tall, with long hair braided and wound about their heads. They were all naked, with their private parts covered, and even described to have as much fighting power as 10 Indian men. More interestingly, Orellana men did encounter a tribe who erected giant jaguar totems in homage to their rulers, who were said to be a tribe of fierce women. These may be the descendants of the Amazon women, and the long braided hair may have made them mistaken as women when the story was told by survivors. Nevertheless, it was Orellana who referred to these tribals as Amazons, after the legends in Greek mythology, and eventually the whole region was named after them. And that's why now we have the Amazon rainforest in South America, where the whole landscape and the river share the same name. Time begins to flow again, and hundreds of years have passed by. The Americas have seen many major changes, especially in North America. 
This land has now turned into a powerful country, the United States, famous worldwide for its American dream. During the dot-com bubble in the 1990s, a young man named Jeff Bezos decided to quit his job to become an entrepreneur. He lost some of his hair for this dream too, but now he's the richest man on the planet, so I guess it is worth it after all. Anyway, Jeff Bezos first named his company as Kadabra, after the magic spell Abracadabra. When he first mentioned this name to his lawyer over the phone, the lawyer misheard it as Cadaver, so Bezos knew the name would not be the right choice for people to remember. In the 1990s, the number of websites was finite and countable by humans. You could find websites sorted alphabetically on the internet directory. After a bunch of research, Bezos settled on the name Amazon because, first, the name started with an A, so it would end up on the first few pages of the directory, and second, the Amazon rainforest has the largest ecosystem in the world, with all the bizarre plants and animals and also the largest river. So the name Amazon would perfectly represent the extensive collection of retail items people could find on his company's website. Wow, just look at this beautiful Nicolas Cage pillow free in the wild. Here's a fun fact for you. Amazon employees are called Amazonians. Perhaps it's because their workplace is a jungle and people have to fight for survival or climb to the top, right? Anyway, that was the birth of the tech giant who is sneakily sucking money out of her wallets, especially on the event called Amazon Prime Day. And here you are in the jungle of YouTube, finding our video in an infinite amount of channels. We are with you, so like and subscribe to avoid getting lost in this YouTube jungle. Thanks for watching.